beginning to think you were not told everything about me. You envisioned something different, I take it, something lighter. I did. To be frank, Dr. Edwards, I only agreed to this meeting as a courtesy to Miss Robertson, but I am certainly not interested in an integrated hospital staff. My skin color shouldn't matter. Well, if it doesn't matter, then why was that information held back from me? You'll have to ask Miss Robertson. It's also nowhere to be found on your credentials. Is your race listed on yours? There's no need for it to be. That was a clip from the new Cinemax series, The Nick, which debuts next month. And in the highly anticipated hospital series, our next guest plays Dr. Algernon Edwards. Here with more on his character and his new life in medicine is actor Andre Holland. Welcome. Wow. Hello, that clip doing? had me mm. at hello. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Good. So it's set in 1900s New York, correct? Mm -hmm. It is. And you play a doctor. Mm -hmm. And Steven Soderbergh is directing. Clive Owen is your co-star. So yeah. when you hear those two names, are you just like... Sign me up. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. And then I, you know, read the script by Jack and Michael, who were two incredible writers, and the material was just out of this world. So it was, it was an easy yes for me. An easy yes. Yeah. And I'm sure every every black actor in Hollywood probably wanted this role. I think so. And I think there's probably a few non-black actors who wanted it. It was, <laughs> it was that good. You mm -hmm. know, it was that good. And so, I, and I think. That was part of Stephen's mission, is he really wanted someone who, you know, hadn't really, whose career hadn't really been launched into the sort of public eye mm -hmm. to have a shot at this part. So I'm, I'm grateful that I was the one who was chosen. Well, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Thank and you. you're playing a black doctor with a degree from Harvard. That was unheard of back then. Yeah. How, what type of approach or preparations did you put into playing this character? Quite a lot, actually. First of all, I started off by just learning about New York mm -hmm. in the 1900s, which is something I sort of knew a little bit about, but not a lot of detail. So mm -hmm. I started there by, there's a book called Low Life that I read and, and got a lot of information from. And then, you know, we spent a lot of time learning the medical procedures. Mm -hmm. We work with a guy called Stanley Burns, who is a medical historian here in New York, not far from here, actually. And uh, he basically took us through step by step each and every operation that we had to do and explained how to hold the instruments and you know, how to say some of those big words and, mm -hmm. and everything. So, yeah, that was sort of sort of. And, you know, that's one point. of the things that struck me in some of the surgery scenes. They're very graphic. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what was it like to film them? And did you have any queasy stomach moments? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There were a few. I mean, the, the, the first one that we did, you know, we, I forget which surgery it was. We made the first incision, and, you know, a little bit of blood came out, and everybody sort of looked around and said, okay, I think we can manage this. And Stephen was like, no, 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 we need much more blood. Oh. So we did it again, and of course it starts gushing out, and we all were a little queasy, I think, after that first one. But, My goodness. Uh, yeah. What is it about these hospital dramas that people can't seem to get enough of? I mean, this is called Grey's Anatomy for the Gilded Era, but mm -hmm. you've got ER, Grey's Anatomy, Masters of Sex. What is it about yeah. these that they continue to do so well and resonate with audiences? Well, I think it's a couple. I mean, I think you're right. The, the medical drama is like the most sort of indestructible one that we have, right? Mm -hmm. It's been around for so long. But I think part of it is that, and, and Steve, I heard Steven say this once, that people are fascinated with proficiency. Oh. Do you know what I mean? So like, I think audiences okay. love seeing people do things that they do very, very well. Mm. And I think the, this show and, and all medical dramas is a good example of that. There's a sort of, you know, heroic nature about it that, that's really appealing. And well, it's issues of life and death and all of that. And exactly. the idea of it all being, you know, being also precarious. And, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, inherently dramatic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is a different type of show for Cinemax. It's known for racier content. You know, it used to even be called Skinemax. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so are you all helping the network go into a different direction? I hope so. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of the goal. You know, I, originally, Stephen, I think, had the opportunity to do this show at HBO. Okay. But he specifically wanted to do it at Cinemax. I think he wanted to do something that that was brand new at a place where there was room to do something new and I think that this show does have the potential to sort of you know change that moniker of Skinamax to something uh something better, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. something more complex, because I think this is a, it's a pretty unique thing. And the show hasn't even aired yet, and it's no. already been picked up for a second season. That's, That's right. what the Wall Street Journal repro reported. Is that true? That is true. My goodness, true. so wow. clearly you're doing something right. I think so. I think we're, all, I think we're off to a good start. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the wonderful things about, you know, this kind of show. I mean, we did 10 episodes. Steven shot all 10 episodes. We shot it basically as though it was a movie, a 10-hour movie, so everything is shot out of order, out of sequence. And I think, you know, the freedom that Stephen was given gave him the, the opportunity to sort of have a unity of, of vision and of, and of sort of concept. So there's a, 
a clarity in the construction of this piece of work that mm. I think is really, really unique and beautiful. And he signed on to direct more episodes in season yeah. two. Yeah, My he's going to do all, all ten in season all two. All ten? All ten, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Nice. It's amazing. So it's you really were like, amazing. sign me up again. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> now, you've been in other films like 42. You've been on stage acting. Mm. Which one do you prefer now that you're on television, the small screen? Oh, man. Shannon, that's a tough question. I mean, really? it's, you know, yeah, you know, it's each of them speaks to a different part of myself. The stage, mm -hmm. I love. That's my first love, mm -hmm. you know. So, doing Shakespeare and, and the yeah, classics. Yeah, the public and, theater. Yeah, I've done, spent a lot of time doing stuff at the, at the public mm -hmm. theater, Shakespeare in the Park, and so on, which really speaks to that part of me that likes the excitement and the thrill of things being different every night. Mm -hmm. But then there's a certain amount of craftsmanship that comes with making films and with doing television that also really appeals to a part of me. So, you know, today I think. TV is where my heart is. But <laughs> tomorrow, I might be, you know, you might see me of a King Lear in the park, you know, begging to do another Shakespeare play. So, wow. so do yeah. you remember when you first got bitten by the acting bug yeah. and what your first performance was? I think I first got bitten by it. Um, well, I'm from Alabama, first of all, from a small town in Alabama. Don't sound and, like uh, it. <laughs> I, it's a, well, we yeah. keep talking. You'll hear it. What does it oh, sound yeah. like when it comes out? Oh, it, it's pretty thick. It, really? <laughs> give, give us a little something. All right, Lola. Well, um, I'm from Birmingham, okay. and um, I got bitten by the acting bug because my granddaddy was a preacher in the Pentecostal church. That's how it started. <laughs> that granddaddy. Right. <laughs> granddaddy. Uh, yeah, granddaddy. That still hey. sounds cool coming out of you, though. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, we, are, we got our suits on, and right. we all, so. But. Southern swag. <laughs> Southern okay. swag. We heard a lot of it in 42, actually. Yeah, there's yeah. a little bit in there. Yeah. There's a little bit a little in there. A little Southern twang. Yeah. But you had to bit. leave that at the border. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. below yeah. the Mason-Dixon exactly. line. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, so, take us back to when you were first was So my grandfather was a preacher in the Pentecostal church, and so I think, you know, going to church every Sunday and seeing him get up there and do his sort of, you know, his thing. Thing. Yeah, the storytelling that was involved in that was really exciting to me, and then also a lot of theatrics, a lot of theatrics, a lot of theatrics, yes. and then also you know, growing up in the South, I was we didn't really grow up watching movies or going to you know going to the cinema. We we spent a lot of time like sitting around fire barrels listening to old people tell stories, you know, and I think that storytelling tradition is one that's very strong in me. So that's sort of what brought me to it in the first place. And then my first play, my mother and father sent me to a uh, summer drama program, and we did Oliver. The musical. Really? Oh, yeah, God. yeah. And you played yeah. one of the urchins? I was one of the urchins, I like, oh, you know. I, I, I was guessing you weren't Oliver. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. More, please. Yeah. What she said? Please, oh, sir, can please. I have some more? Oh, you're doing very well. Very well. That's great. So, what's next for you? I mean, clearly, you've well, got a job for another mm -hmm. season, so that's job. great. Yes, I'm grateful for that. Uh -huh. um, uh, I just finished a film called Selma which is about oh, the civil rights right. movement. We just finished a few weeks ago. Kevin Costner. No, 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 no. that's a different one. This one was uh, with David Oyelowo playing oh, Martin Luther yes, King. And, yes. Yeah, Ava DuVernay directing. It's a uh, pretty special film. It'll be out Christmas Day. That's fantastic. So waiting on that to come out and preparing for the second season of, mm. of The Nick, which starts on August 8th at, at 10 o'clock. So I hope, hope you guys can check it out. On Cinemax, we'll be tuning in. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It was All a right. pleasure talking to you guys. We'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.